earlier in the prophecy of Joel, God declares, I will show wonders in the heavens above and on the earth beneath, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will turn to darkness and the storm will still be getting soaked by the water dripping off the tree. You might run for a tent, and that's a little bit better until the wind blows the tent over or rips the seam and you get soaked anyway. No, when there's a rainstorm, you look for a nice strong roof to put over yourself. And then you, and then you hear the, the rain gush down and hammer the roof and you look outside with your friends and you say, boy, I'm glad I'm not out there anymore. Go back to the rainstorm. You're outside and you're out with your friends. What do you do? You invite them in. There's plenty of room inside for them to stay dry too. Tornado siren goes off. Somebody's passing by. What do you do? You, you invite that person in uh, to, 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 to save that person's life. Just so with judgment day. When God's anger roars overhead regarding sin, when the, the whirlwind of God's fury over transgressions arrives, Jesus is a strong enough stronghold for everybody. Jesus is a big enough shelter for everybody. Invite them in. What you've got, they need. So as autumn approaches, invite people to Bible information class.